All right, Ava is looking at different tilings, that is different ways of covering a region with shapes. First, she looks at two different tilings, one using identical squares and the other using identical regular hexagons. Work out the length side of a square tile correct to one decimal place. Okay, well, that's that's fine. Root 140 equals 11.8 centimeters. That's part one. Part two, hexagon tile has sides of length x. Work out the value of x correct to one decimal place and the area is 140. So the area would be six triangles. And we can use the area rule that says the area of this triangle is a half a b sine c. A half a b x by x sine the angle in between that should equal 140. 140. So solving that, you get x is 7.3 centimeters. <laughs> All right, B. Eva now looks more complicated. Time time blows made up of two shapes an arrowhead and a quadrilateral. The point E lies on the line AC, and both shapes are symmetrical. And uh, A. All right. All right. AD is 8. AE is 6. ED is 4. Angle DAE. Okay, so we want this angle here. Uh, cosine rule. 4 squared equals 8 squared plus 6 squared minus twice 8 by 6 by cos alpha. So rearranging this, let me see what I get. 4 squared minus 8 squared minus 6 squared divided by minus 2 and 8 and 6 and I get 7 over 8. Excellent. In the diagram ADC equals ABC. A D a D C equals A B C, which equals ninety. Okay, nineties here. Use the use this and part B one to work out the total area. Right. Uh, so the area now. Um. <laughs> that's four that's eight that's ninety I can know this angle because I know these two In fact, I could get the base here. That would be enough if I just got the base. Because I could say, I am, um, yeah, I could say cos alpha is the adjacent, which is eight, over the hypotenuse, which is AC. And I know cos alpha is seven over eight. So then I have AC equals 8 times 8 divided by 7, which is 64 over 7. So the area will be twice, and then we can use our formula again, 
Aha. A. B. Sine. Cos inverse 7 over 8. So those twos cancel. So 64 times 8 divided by 7 times sine cos inverse 7 over 8. So two decimal places, 5.06 centimeters squared. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay, I think I think that's fine. Um, Ava also looks at tiling of the inside of the circle. The inner circle. The tiling she looks at is shown on the left. The diagram on the right, not the scale, shows the circle C and another circle S. The points P and Q are both on the circle. The part S that lies inside C is the edge of a number of tiles. Ava wants to find the equation of circle S. Okay. Okay. Show that point Q has that coordinate. Angle QOP. QOP. 45 degrees. Okay. Oh, well, that's okay, actually, because that means Q would be cos uh, 135 and sine 135, right? From the proof earlier. Cos 135 is minus root 2 over 2, and then sine 135 is uh, root 2 over 2. So what we'd have to do is uh, multiply above and below by 1 over, uh, no, um, divide the top by root 2 and the bottom by root 2. So that would be minus 1 over root 2. Or actually, let me let me make it even better than that. You could change the 2 into root 2 root 2. And they'd cancel. So you'd be left with minus 1 over root 2 and 1 over root 2, which is what you need. The point P lies on the x-axis. The center of the circle S lies on the tangent to C. To C. The center of circle S. P is on the x-axis. The center of circle S lies on the tangent to C at the point P. The tangent of C at the, but that's just the vertical line, isn't it? The center of circle S lies on the tangent to C at the point P and on the tangent to C at the point Q. Okay, and that's 90 degrees there for sure. Find the center of the radius of the circle. Uh, S of circle S. Okay. Well, let's fill in what we know. So that's obviously 45. Um, this is length 1. This is length 1. Um, Would it just be easy to find the equation of this line and, and find where the intersect? I kind of feel like it would be. This is the equation of the line x equals minus 1. It, it, this has slope 1. 
this line here and this point here we're given so it's y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1 So x is minus 1, so y minus 1 over root 2 equals mm, minus 1 plus 1 over root 2. So y equals minus 1 plus 1 over root 2 plus 1 over root 2. So that's minus 1 plus root 2. So the center is at z uh, not 0. The center is at minus 1 and minus 1 plus root 2. It's the center. And then the radius would be the distance from here to here. Oh, so, uh, no, it's not. What am I saying? The radius would be the distance from the center straight down just. So it would just be that. Think. Give your answer in cert form. Well, it's definitely cert form.